initially when it was created, it was really to um, allow the newly arrived immigrants to feel welcome in the community. So how do we acclimate them not only to America, but also to Marin County, to the canal itself. And also I think in the early years is really about being the authentic voice of the community and having those folks come in and say, you know, I think we should have this type of program here. So they had ESL classes, they had, you know, small arts and crafts classes. They used to do a mobile consulate where the consulate would come from San Francisco and they closed the streets and everyone could, you know, they probably would serve 500 people per event, per month, where they would do it. And I think over the years, the authenticity of the community and of the residents there has really shown through the center. You know, as they move forward, just continue bringing on the right people on their board, on their staff, and, um, I hope that they have a political voice. I think having that political voice to kind of just, just kind of, you know, be aware and, and know what's going to happen to your community before it happens. Because when you're not involved politically, things just happen to you. And as they say, when you're not at the table, you're the menu, right? So hopefully they could be at the table. They're working with a lot of youth now, so trying to get the youth more involved. You know, hopefully they can continue running the center the way, you know, the elders are doing it. <laughs> I mean, there's always the fight, you know, there's racism, there's sexism, there's all these isms, and there's always going to be people who need people to help them, you know, deal with these issues. And so, you know, when Douglas gets tired and old and <laughs> can't do it anymore, he needs to be able to pass that baton and have that next level of leadership who are, who are like two or three Douglases and can come on and do the work. Because <laughs> there's going to be a time. <laughs>